Okay, so here's the problem. The claim is the transpose of a times b is equal to the transpose of b times the transpose of a. So you have to be careful. You can transpose over a product, so you transpose each matrix individually, a and b, but you have to swap the order of the product. So let's prove this. The first part, well, to have an equality of matrices, we have to check that they have the same size. Let's check this first. So let's assume that a is an m by n, and since a b is defined, b has to be an n by p. So a is an m by n times b, which is an n by p. So n equals n, and a b is a p by q. Not a p by q, sorry. a b is an m by p. So if a b is m by p, well, if you transpose, you flip the rows and the columns. So a b is a p by m. All right, so the left-hand side of the equality is a p by m matrix. Let's look at the right-hand side, b transposed times a transposed. Well, if b is an n by p, b transpose is a p by n. And if a is an m by n, a transpose is a n by m. So n equals n. The product is defined. m b transpose a transpose ends up being a p by m matrix. So a b Oops, a b transposed. a b is an m by p, so a b transposed is a p by m, and b transpose a transpose is also a p by m, so we can see that a b transposed, b transpose a transposed, both have the same size. The second part is, well, we have to have the same corresponding entries. So let's take the entry of this matrix in the ith row jth column. And hopefully we'll get the entry of this matrix in the i row jth column. So we take a b transposed, the entry of that matrix in the i row jth column. Well, this is simply the entry of a b in the jth row ith column. Because the transpose, remember, is the action of swapping the rows for columns and columns for rows. We can now expand, so we take the entries in A in the jth row, the entries of B in the ith column, we multiply corresponding entries, and we add them up. Now, we want to conclude with B transpose A transposed. So, we can bring back the transpose on A and B. The entry of a transpose in the kth row jth column is the entry of a in the jth row kth column. And the entry of b transposed in the ith row kth column is the entry of b in the kth row ith column. Now we're summing over k. Well, if you swap the order of these two terms, right? This is a real number, so is this one. And you get the summation over k of b transposed, i throw kth column, the summation, uh, the entry of a transposed, kth row jth column. And look what you have here. You take the entries in the i row of b transposed, jth column of a transposed, you multiply corresponding entries, and you add them up. This is exactly the entry of b transposed, a transposed, in the i row jth column. So the entries of the matrix A, B transposed are the same as the matrix B transposed, A transposed. So these two matrices have the same corresponding entries, therefore they're equal. And this completes the proof.